Hi and welcome to Empower TV. My name is Josephine Campbell, but Empower TV is about you. This is the channel for you who like to empower yourself and your business so you get more success and happiness. And today I'm having a conversation with Bastian Overgaard. Bastian is an expert in silence. He helps companies to get more efficient meetings using silence. Could you explain a little bit about that? Like how can you use silence for meetings? So it's about creating silent spaces. Like if you have a, a keyboard without a, without a space, you just create noise. And a lot of meetings are noise because we don't give our, our brain the time to, to stop. We don't have time to reflect and, and create that respect. So, so we use silent co-creation because we have to co-create it. Silence is not just silence. If I'm suddenly silent and you don't know why, then it, it's kind of awkward and embarrassing or I can use it as a weapon. But when you co-create it, there, you have to follow four principles. And, and the first principle is that you have to facilitate silence. Someone has to guide it to say, okay, now we are silent together. Then people have to be conscious about the silence that, that we know that it's actually the space we're creating. Then you have to respect it 100%. If one person just like, like say a comment to another one. Or look at the phone. Or look at the phone or something. It's like that if, if imagine this picture that we go down in a submarine together and then one person just wants to just open the window very fast. Just to a have, little peek. Just have a peek out. It doesn't work. And it's the same here. We, we destroy this really strong uh, energy, this, this field we create in silence. And the last one is that you have to, uh, to have a time frame. Because if I say, okay, now we're just silent, you say, okay, we'll sit in, silen in silence and, 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 and it will be awkward because we will use a lot of energy to say, when should we start talking again? Mm -hmm. But if we know it's just one minute or it's just two minutes or it's three minutes, yeah. then we can completely relax and we get this valuable space in our life that is just like filled with noise and it's, it's draining our lives and our minds and, and our ability to get the, the, the really profound ideas. Yeah, so because what do you get from using silent co-creation hmm. in your business? Hmm. You, you get, first of all, you get effective meetings because you, it, it limits the noise and it limits the talking and, and there's way too much talking, uh, inefficient talking. And also always the same people talking, right? And the same people talking. So, so you don't have this, this knowledge sharing. Uh, it's, it's not a fair knowledge sharing. So, so it creates a more equal space between right. extroverts and introverts. And not just fair, but like optimal or efficient Ob knowledge sharing. Because so sometimes you have some really, really smart people who are introvert, mm. who don't like interrupting exactly. or speaking up. Exactly. And we lose the valuable input they have. Exactly. And then just having a, a, a two minute timeout in the middle of a meeting where just like the, the, the tempo goes up and we, we are completely on. Those two minutes will, for an introvert, can, can make them, uh, give them time to reflect and to, uh, to, to formulate a, a sentence, a meaning, uh, what, the, what they, they want. Mm -hmm. But it also creates presence and respect to have this, uh, to make this, these timeouts. It's, it's also, you can also see like a Formula One uh, race, like it, uh, you also need to go into a pit stop and in that pit stop everyone works together. And actually some of my clients say when, that in the silence uh, everyone is heard. Yeah. And, and I really love that. So, so, it, so you actually also create like a really effective team building effect. I hear that many times that, that, that people, they really feel like they're a strong team if they're silent together. But again, you have to do it in, in very small doses and you have to, it's important where you put it in the meeting and how you, how you talk about it, how you present it, that, that's the whole thing. So, and that's what I also teach leaders, how to, to present it uh, in a way so, so people don't think now we have to sit and meditate or something. Mm -hmm. Because it's not, not about meditating. I love it. I think it sounds awesome. And I also like to be silent, to be honest. Many people feel a little awkward being silent. Mm -hmm. We love to hear what you think about being silent. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Or can you imagine ever being having conscious silence in a meeting to increase effectiveness? What do you think about this whole thing? Please write us a comment and at least give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We'd love to hear what you think about the video. Thank you so much for watching today.